Good evening, good evening, families and friends. Good evening, what's where you are? This is the most family to you with this evening video on YouTube. Trust in God in our generation, brothers and sisters. I come to you this evening with the message of the law. Hallelujah. Trust in God in our generation, families and friends. Hallelujah. Trust in God in our generation, in our time, in our time, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. The video is all about trusting God in our generation. What's where you are? Just join me on this platform, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Families and friends. Our God is good all the time. All the time, He's good to you and I. Our God will be faithful even if we are not faithful. He's great, kind, and wonderful God, brothers and sisters. He never fails. He never changes. He's on His throne, brothers and sisters. Yes. He never fails. He never changes. He's the Alpha. He's the Omega. He's the beginning. He's the end. That's not like Him, brothers and sisters. He shared glory with no man. Praise be to Yahweh. What's it all you are? I just welcome you on this live video this evening, brothers and sisters. So join me. What's it all you are? Just join me. Hallelujah. What's it all you are? Join me that the peace of God be with you as you worship our Lord, as you come to magnify His name, as you listen to His word, to share the videos. Brothers and sisters, you come across these videos here. I want for you to share my video. Leave a comment, brothers and sisters. Share my videos. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But brothers and sisters, I would like to share the word of God with you this evening, coming from the book of uh, the word of God. I bring it to you this evening, brothers and sisters, from the tree of grace. How many friends we are only living by God's grace? Yes. So I come to you with the word of God from the tree of grace this evening. Hallelujah. The word of God that is sharper than any to its war. Hallelujah. The word of God that will set you and are free in this world from every other power of darkness the word of god is the one that will save you and i in the days that we find ourselves in brothers and sisters and the time that we find ourselves in is only the word of god that will save us so we just gave him the glory and the honor that he deserved oh hallelujah we gave him the glory and the honor that he deserved we gave him the praise for he's faithful brothers and sisters. he's kind he's wonderful from this friend i'll get a little share with you the ten commandments is even on this on this on this platform, I will let us share with you the Ten Commandments. Hallelujah. But before we get into the scripture reading, let us just pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to say thank you, God, for this video that's coming this evening unto your people. Your pressure and loving people on this channel is all about trusting in God. It's all about trusting in Yeshua and trusting in our generation. And trusting in Yeshua Hamashiach, the Savior of the world, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the soon coming King of the universe, our great Messiah. This platform is all about him, families and friends. So, whatever you are, I just want to take God to you for your life as you join me on this platform, oh God. I pray, oh God, that Lord, your people will be the hearer of your word and the doer of your word. I pray, oh God, that Lord, your word will go to transform life and touch the life of people. That Lord, let me decree you, God, increase in this place all about you. I want to bless your name and I just want to honor your name for who you are. Take your glory, share your glory, no man. I come against every foul spirit, demonic forces of darkness. I come against temptation. I come against every Spirit that's out of you, oh God, quench and destroy every evil spirit against this platform, oh God. I don't want the platform to grow. Father, it's your message. Let your message go forth. I only want people to be delivered from your message, oh God, from your daughter. I want to say thank you for your message. And I want to say thank you, oh God, for doing your thing in the life of your people that have subscribed to this channel. I bless you and I honor you, oh God, that your world, for, your world go forth to transform lives. I thank you and I honor your name and I glorify your name for the new week that we are entering, oh God, I love you bless your people. Guide and protect us, O oh Father, through temptation and trials. And lead us and guide us, O oh Father. And let your will be done in our life, not the will of the enemy, but your will. Because no weapon found against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. I think in our honor, you need to have your way. Holy Spirit, you just have your way this hour. Take your glory and have your way in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Families and friends, this is our sister Mosa coming to you with this live video this evening on YouTube channel. Just join me as you. As we go into the teaching this evening about the Ten Commandments. Hallelujah. Thank you. I have a big God. Oh, he always by my side. I have a big God. Oh, by my side, by my side. We have a big God. Oh, he always by our side. We have a big God. Oh, by our side every day. We have a big God. Oh, he always bows up. We have a big God. Oh, by our side, we never sleep. Hallelujah. We have a big God on our side. 
every day of our life, he always by our side. He leading us and guiding us and directing our footsteps. He always by our side. Thank you, Jesus. Papa, go, Holy Spirit, have your way. Oh, Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Oh, precious Holy Ghost. Mm, sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit. Take your place on this platform. Take your place in my life. Take your place in the life of my people. Take your place, take your place in the life of. I say, Holy Ghost, precious Holy Spirit. Take your place, take your place, take your place. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Spirit take his place in your life, in your home, in the life of your children. Let the Holy Spirit of God take place in your life. Hallelujah. Let him do something new in your life. This new week, let it be a new beginning of everything you're going to do. The works of your hand. Let God bless the works of our hands. Everything that we find to do, may God bless it and bless this week. I'm listening, friends. He is the precious Holy Spirit that's going to take his place in our life, in our home, in everything that we do. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Fathers and friends, you are highly welcome on this platform, this even on this live devotion, this live video, on this teaching the ball, the Ten Commandments. Fathers and friends, in the book of Deuteronomy 28, he said, It shall come to pass this day if you and I will hearken unto the voice of the Lord to observe the two his commandment. This day that we will be blessed in everything that we're going to do. God is very, very pacific. In particular, with his commandment for you and I to live according to his commandment, brothers and sisters. He is very, very particular with his commandment, and you and I have to live according to his commandment, brothers and sisters. He said, And it shall come to pass, it's still Roman 28. I'm going to get rid for you the beginning, brothers and sisters. He said, And it shall come to pass this day if you and I will hearken diligently unto the voice of the law hmm. to observe to do his commandment, which he had commanded. You and I this day. Hmm. That the law, God will set thee above, high above all nations. If you and I do the commandment of God, observe to do his commandment, he will set you and I above all nations, high above all the nations on the earth. This is a commandment. This is a promise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He will sit all above, brothers and sisters, if you and I will hearken unto his voice and his commandment to observe the two, what he had commanded us to do. When he gave the laws to Moses, he tell Moses that he gave Moses those laws after they got saved from Egypt. He gave Moses the law for us to follow. Hallelujah. That will govern his people when they were, sli when they were free from slavery, brothers and sisters. This is how he gave it Moses. He gave his law to Moses. Hmm, thank you, Lord. I tell you, thank you, Jesus. That was written in between the time of 16 BC to 13 BC, brothers and sisters. God gave his commandment to Moses. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. But from this, my friend, the Ten Commandments, I'm going to go. I'm going to read the Ten Commandments. I'm going to go. The first scripture reading will be taken. When he gave the Ten Commandments to, to Moses to give it to his people, the children of Israel. The extra light at that time that he he wanted to go save brothers that were in the wilderness, he gave him the Ten Commandment, Jesus, after they were saved through the Red Sea. Hallelujah. When he called him up to go and pray over the Mansana, the commandment was given to Moses over from Mansana, over the mountain Mansana, that where the Ten Commandment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That where the commandment of the Lord was what? Were given to Moses. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> I'll read for you Exodus 19, 20 25. Let me go to Exodus 19. Let me go to Exodus 19, brothers and sisters. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and wax louder and louder, Moses spoke. And God answered by a voice. Hmm. And the Lord came down upon Mansana on the top of the mountain. 
And the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mountain. And Moses went up. Brothers and sisters, God called Moses up to go to the mountain of Manzana. Because the noise of the people were just going high and high, brothers and sisters. I think they were giving Moses too much trouble and complain. So God called Moses to go up to the Mount Sana, up over the mountain. Hmm. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come down, charge the people, lest they break through into the law, the Gaza, and many them perish. Because the complaining was so much on Moses. So the Lord called Moses up there, brothers and sisters. To gain some loss for the people before they go through Gaza, before all of them perish. 22 say, And let the priests also come, which come near to the Lord, sanctify themselves, lest the Lord break forth into them. And Moses said unto them, Lord, and Moses said unto, unto, unto the Lord, the people cannot come up to Masana. God will communicate directly with Moses, brothers, in our time. Who? It's capable for God to complain, for, for, for God to speak to direct in our days. God has some faithful people on his eye, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. That he's still speaking to. Thank you, Lord. But he told him, he said, the people cannot come up. He told him to come, but he told, he told Moses, he told God that the people cannot come up to Masana. For the charge, what? The charges and say, set bound above where the mouth and sanctify it. And the Lord said unto him, Away, get thee down, and thou shalt come up. Thou and Aaron with thee, but let not the priests and the people break through to come up unto the Lord, lest they break upon them. Hmm. He told him to go up, he and Aaron, brothers and sisters, families and friends, but he said, Not the people before they break forth. Then up, hallelujah. So Moses went down into the people and spoke unto them. God allowed Moses to come down and talk to the people, brothers and sisters, because they were causing too much so trouble down there when Moses left to go up there to God to go speak to God. They were causing a lot of trouble. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'll read for you Exodus 1 18. That's the one. Oh, your extra do not have. Oh, that the vehicles are in here. Exodus. Yeah, tell the one. Okay, I gotta look at it. Exodus. Oh, father. Exodus 31 verse 18. Exodus 31 verse 18. I'm going to 18 says, Thank you, go to 17 before go to 18. It is a psalm between me and the children of Israel forever. For the sixth day, the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. Brothers and sisters, God wants us to remember the Sabbath is even in the commandment. It says, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. If they want to is remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. It's the fifth commandment in the Ten Commandments, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. He said, we should remember, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. It's a sign that he made between he and Israel lives, brothers and sisters. He said, it's a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. The sixth day, the Lord made heaven and earth. And the seventh day, he rested and refused. He rested and refreshed himself. 18 say, and he gave unto Moses when he had made an end. Come in with him upon Mansana. Two tablets of testimony. Tablet of stone written with the finger of God. This is what God wrote the Ten Commandments on. Two tablets with his finger writing on it, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. This is where he wrote the Ten Commandments on, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I'll read for you Romans 7 7. Then I'll read for you Romans 7 7. Yeah. 
what shall we say then? Is this is the law sin? God forbid. May I have not known sin, but ye, but by the law, for I have not known. Let us expect the law has said that shall not convert the neighbor. That shall not convert anything that does not belong to you. That shall not convert people, women, people, property, people, things. You just convert it. You take it to be your own. It, it, it's a sin. God said we should not convert anything that is not ours. That one of the commandments. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But sin taking a occasion by the commandment. What it may all manner of cons, com, com, composition for the world. Without the law, composition of the law, sin was dead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the commandment which are ordained to life are found to be unto death. For sin taking occasion by the commandment, deceive me, deceive me, and by showing me. Wherefore the law is the body, the commandment. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy. And just do good. Hmm. 13. He said, It was then that which is good made death unto me, God forbid, but sin, that it might be, it might appear sin. Working death in me by what is good, what sin by the commandment might become extremely sinful. Thank you, Lord. For, for I know. That the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, soul, on a sin. For what which I do, I allow not. For what I who that I do, but what I hate that I do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What you hate to find yourself to do it, that is sin, brothers and sisters. If then I do that, I will not. I consent unto the law. That is not good thank you jesus for i know that in me that is in my flesh do i mean good thing to do the way there's to present me but how to perform that which is good i found that hallelujah paul was speaking for the good that i will do i do not but the evil which i will do not i do hallelujah thank you jesus that i do the good you're supposed to do, you cannot do, but the evil that you're not supposed to do, that way you find yourself doing, that is sin. Now, if I do that, I will not. It is no sin that I do it in. But sin that dwell in me. The sin that dwell in, in you, that it allows you to do bad, that it allows you to sin, brothers and sisters. That it allows you to go against the word of God, against the commandment of God. Thank you, Jesus. Then I'll read for you Genesis 3. No. Now I'll read for you Exodus 12 41. Exodus 12. Exodus 12. 41. And it came to pass at the end of the 430 years, even the self sent day that it come to pass that we all that all the hosts of the law went out from the land of egypt hmm. 430 years the people were in captivity they were in slavery in egypt families and friends the each last hmm. tell it say it is a night to be much observed unto the law for breaking them out from the land of e egypt this is that we might that night of the law to be observed of all the children of Israel in the generation, the day that they came forth out of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, This is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no stranger eat thereof. Hmm. For the four. But every man seven that is brought for money, even that must second side him when him then shall he eat thereof as a foreigner and at a, a her servant 
shall not want it thereof. For the first say, in one horse shall it be eaten, that shall not carry forth. Auto the flesh abroad out of the horse needle shall ye break bones thereof. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Genesis 3, families and friends. Let me read Genesis 3 for you. Genesis chapter 3. Genesis 3, what's wrong? Brother and sister, for the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, God has said, ye shall not eat, neither touch it. Lest you die. This is the commandment part of the commandment God gave in the Garden of Adam, brothers and sisters, that He gave rules to Adam and Eve and tell them in the midst of this garden, the tree that is there, do not eat of it, do not even touch it. Were we obedient? No. If we and touch it, the disciple made, gave the the, 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 the fruit to, 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 to Eve. Hallelujah. And she took it and eat it, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I'm going to read for you. Did I'm going to read for you. Exodus. That is sin. That is not obeying God. 20. Exodus 20. From 2 to 17. Exodus 20. From 2 to 17. I am the Lord that God. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. And out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Hallelujah. These are the commandments Jesus God is giving unto Moses. He said, He is the Lord. Let me get start for Exodus 1. And the Lord spoke all this word, saying, He spoke all this word to Moses. He said, I am the Lord that God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt not have no other God beside me. That is the commandment. He said, We should not have any other God beside him. He said, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is a, that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that which is under the what under the earth, that or that which is in the water or under the earth, that is the commandment God is giving you and I. Three, four, that shall not make unto thee any graven image, or in any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or in. That is in the earth, for or beneath, or in the water, or under the earth. For, for say, thou shalt not bow thyself to thee, nor serve them. For I am the Lord that God, I am jealous. Hmm. He said, I am the Lord God, I am jealous. God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Thank you, Lord. Six say, and showing mercy unto thousands of men that love me and keep my commandments. Thank you, Lord. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord that God in vain. That is one of the commandments, families and friends, brothers and sisters, on the platform. That is the one of the commandments, brothers and sisters. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord that God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that take his name in vain. That is the law. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. Six days thou shalt labor and do all the works. But on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the law that go. In that shall, shall not do any work. No, that son, no, that daughter. Not that maid servant, not that men servant, not the cattle, not the strangers. That is within the gates. He's telling about on the six days you can you can do all our work, but on the Sabbath you and I are not to work. Our children, our maid servant, men servant, our servant, our cattle. Nobody should do any work on the seventh day. We should keep the Sabbath and keep it holy. We should remember remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. That is. 
the Ten Commandments, one of the Ten Commandments that very, very, God is very, very particular about brothers and stuff. He said, For in the sixth day, the Lord had made heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that within them, and rested on the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath and keep it and and hallow it. Hallelujah. This is why the Lord blessed the Sabbath, the seventh day, for all to rest and keep it holy, because of the day he rests. Honor the father and the mother, that the days may be long upon the earth, which the Lord that God has given thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against the neighbor. Yes. Thou shalt not convert the neighbor horse, thou shalt not convert the neighbor wife, nor his maid servant or his maid men servant, or his ox or his ashes, or anything that is his neighbor. Mm. And all the people saw the trembling and the lightning and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain shook when the people saw it. They moved and stood far off. God giving Moses the commandment. There was some. The people shaking up the other mountain, my son. And they said unto Moses, Speak, die with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us. Let we die. They were so afraid because the sound, the noise, the trembling that were up there, the whole earth was shaking, hopefully was shaking brothers and sisters. So they said, oh God, most of them not like God to talk to them because when God talked to them, all of them would die. God should get talk to Moses. And Moses said unto them, people fear not for God is come to prove you. Hallelujah. And that is fear that was made before your face that ye may not sin. Hallelujah. God showed himself to them for them to fear God and be shaken for them to not sin against God. And the people stood afar and Moses drew near unto, unto the, the thick darkness where God was. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, said to Moses, Thou shalt say unto them, the children of Israel, Ye have seen that I have talked with you for heaven. Ye shall not make with me go or silver, neither ye shall make unto you gods of gold. An altar on the earth that shall make unto me or shall sacrifice thereon that burning offering on that peace offering that sheep of that ox in all places where I recall my name I will come unto thee and I will bless thee 25 and if thou will make me an altar of stones thou shall not build it with hand stone, if thou lift up thy tools upon it, thou shalt pluck it, thou shalt pull it, neither shalt thou go up by steps, neither the altar that nakedness be not this covered therefore. There on hallelujah. These are the Ten Commandments that Jesus, that God has given unto Moses, that you and I need to obey and follow in our days and our time, brothers and sisters, to obey these laws. That shall not kill, that shall not steal, that shall not commit adultery, that shall not uh, bear false witness against their neighbor, that shall not convert their neighbor wife, their maid servant, their, 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 their maid servant, their oxes, their cattle, their neighbor, anything, brothers and sisters. Honor the father and the mother. Six days God created heaven and earth. On the seventh days He rested. We should honor the Sabbath. The seventh day He rested, which is the Sabbath. We should keep the Sabbath holy. Thou shalt live up and work. Remember the Sabbath. Keep it holy. Thou shalt not call the Lord that God name in vain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is this. Is, these are the Ten Commandments God has given you and I. That should not murder. That should not steal. Brothers and sisters. That should not commit adultery, fornication. Yes. Family, family, and friends. These are the Ten Commandments, family, and friends. The Ten Commandments is taken from the book of uh, Exodus from 20. Exodus 20 from 2 to 17. Not even 17, but I read all the way to... From 2 to... I read Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. You can read all the way to 18. You can end the chapter all the way to 26, brothers and sisters. If you want to end it, hallelujah, praise be to Yahweh. But I stop to, I'll get put the scripture the way I stop. It's from the Exodus, brothers and sisters. This is the word of the Lord to you, friends and friends. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God that tell me about the Ten Commandments that you and I need to observe. You say we should not serve any other God beside Him. We should not make any kind of uh, graven image of anything to make any of any God with graven image to worship and serve. We should not do that because he is a God. He's a jealous God. Brothers and sisters, he told us in his word. His God is the God who is jealous. He said, Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt not make any unto thee any graven image or any likeness or anything from the heaven, from the above, under the earth, under the water, under the sea, whatsoever it might be. We should not do that. Brothers and sisters, this is the commandment that God has given unto Moses, his servant, that we need to obey. It's from Exodus 20 from verse 1 all the way to verse 22. I stopped to brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. I stopped to 23. Hallelujah. 24. So the 25 of it. Exodus. Brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God keep you and uphold you as I come to you with his words. May his word take roots into your heart that will transform your life, brothers and sisters. I live never be the same. Papa God, Jehovah Nisi, Eshadah, Elohim, Papa God, as I come to the end of this video, this evening on the YouTube channel, just in going our generation, I pray for our youth, our children, oh God, to be obedient as the word said. You should honor the father and the mother. Brothers and sisters, it's part of the Ten Commandments. Hallelujah. That your days may be long on this earth with a promise. Papa God, I take, thank you to God for our youth and our children. I take, thank you for the Ten Commandments that you, the word you have given us, O oh God, concerning the Ten Commandments. That Lord will be obedient to your to your word, O oh God, even in the development that say it shall come to pass this day if you and I will hack onto the force of the law to, to observe, to do his commandment. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, that Lord will be able to observe your commandment and to do and to do them, oh God, as the word has said. Honor the Father and the Mother, obey your word, serve that God with all our might, body, and strength, honor and love our neighbor as ourselves. Papa, God, take thank you for your word. Help us, O oh God, benefit on your word, O oh Jesus. I take thank you for this platform, O oh God, I know you minister unto your people. That God, everything will be about you. It's not about me, it's about your, about your people, your kingdom, and salvation, O oh God, the repentance of your people. Hallelujah. And the salvation of your people, oh God, in the time that they, in our last, in the last day we found ourselves in, in this peculiar time, in the rush hour, Papa God. Help us, oh God, to get to know you. Help us to seek after our salvation with trembling and fear before your kingdom. Help us to repent, oh God. Help us to reconcile with you, oh God. Help us, oh God, to make our life right with you, oh God. Help us, oh God, to repent and ask for forgiveness. As First John 1 now say, if we confess our sin, you are faithful and just to forgive our sin. So shall it be unto me, my children, my generation on this platform. With my people that have stopped to this channel, Papa God, I take thank you and I bless you to have your way. Now, I thank you, thank you, Father, for the new week that, that has that is coming tomorrow, Monday. We pray for the new week that God you will lead us and guide and protect us from every destruction of the enemy. The thief coming to stick you and destroy, but Jesus came that we have left and have it more abundantly. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus that we cleanse of all unrighteousness. Thank you, O God, for first Peter 5 8 tell us we should be vigilant and so. Sober and vigilant, for our adversary is out there like a rolling lion, seeking who he will devour. Papa, help us to put on the full armor that will withstand the wrath of the devil. The breastplate, the hairman, O God, and the sheet and the buckler. We take, thank you and bless your name, O God. Say, have your way, let it will be done. Today's our prayer. I have come to ask in the master name of Yeshua Hamashiach, in the name of Je Jehovah Nisi Eshadah Elohim, the Most High, Yahweh. I fight in the Omega at the beginning and the end. Thank you, Papa, for your word. May God make it fit to shine upon us. May God be gracious unto us and give us peace that surpasses all understanding. Peace I live with you, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Stay blessed.